Hello, my name is Caroline Chappell, and I'm here today with Pat Gelsinger, who is CEO of VMware. Welcome, Pat. Thank you. So, Pat, we all know that VMware is a leader in enterprise virtualization, but how does this translate for network functions virtualization? What's the value that VMware brings here? Well, actually, it's quite spectacular that when you look at what Etsy is describing as the architecture for network function virtualization, that all of the components are exactly the same as the software-defined data center. So we have the opportunity to take those ingredients that we've been working on for over a decade and apply them almost exactly to the network function virtualization challenge. And we've seen a great resonance to that from some of the early leaders in that area. So we think there's a very high synergy and a big market opportunity as a result. Thank you, Pat. So tell us about NSX. What's the relevance of NSX to mobile operators? NSX, if you think about it, it's virtualizing the network of the data center. But where does the network operator touch the data center? The network. So the first point that they see is actually that virtualized network that NSX is providing. So the opportunity is for us, for us to extend that network virtualization into the operator's network and begin to have even greater flexibility and agility and even start to use network function virtualization. And some of the early customers like NTT are saying, not only can NSX help me operate my network, but I can also start to offer services to those enterprise customers to better connect, better accelerate their network experience from the NSX platform. You've just closed the acquisition of AirWatch. What made AirWatch attractive to VMware? Well, very much so, we're, we're this environment where all of a sudden it's from data center to devices. In the mobile cloud era, the services run in these cloud data centers and they're delivered on mobile devices. And enterprise customers need to have a secure mobile experience to deliver the applications, the content, the browsing, the mail, all of those onto those devices and AirWatch solves exactly that problem. And what made them so attractive was they were clearly seen as a leader as seen in the Gartner Magic Quadrant, but they were separating themselves from the pack. And now we're taking the number one data center infrastructure software provider, combining it with the number one mobile infrastructure provider. It really is a marriage made in heaven. Let's talk about how all this comes together in the long term. How do you see the role of virtualization evolving over the next decade as we move into this world of seamless connection across cloud data centers, mobile networks, and mobile devices? We see these three pillars, right? What we do in the data center, right? What we do in the cloud, and what we do in the device. And the connectivity is the network as we bring all of those devices together. So we are very excited about our three strategies, software-defined data center, hybrid cloud, and the end user computing in these devices. But the connectivity in the middle is the network. And that's why we're here at Mobile World Congress. And we really see this as a tremendous opportunity to extend what we do from the data center, through the network, to the device. It really is a tremendous opportunity for us to collectively pursue. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you.